how to make app in Android Studio without coding. So I was able to make this Android app. Let me tap on it for you to see. And as you can see, it is a scientific calculator, a modern scientific calculator app that is working perfectly fine. And I was able to do this right inside Android Studio using Gemini without me writing any single line of code. And as you can see, Gemini has successfully built and then bundled my app for me successfully without me writing a single line of code. So let me show you how I can do the exact same thing. All that you have to do is simply install Android Studio. If you don't have it already, I have a full video on it. And then simply come here, open it, and come here to where we have the project and come and select it. So from the project option, simply come in and then come and click on new project. When you click on new project over here, it will come where you can create a new project. Come and select phone and tablet. And after selecting it, you see that we have so many activities right here. All that you have to do is simply come and then select the empty views activity by clicking on it. So after selecting the empty views activity, all that you have to do now is to simply come here and come and click on the next. So after clicking on the next, you have to come and then create a new empty view activity. The first thing is the name. So the name is the name of your app. Come and write it right here, just like my as scientific calculator X. After writing it, the next thing is the package name. Okay, so by default, it's going to pick the name of your app as well. And then the location, you can simply come in and change it. So my is at desktop, the language we have, Kotlin, leave it just as is. And then the minimum SDK, that is the minimum Android version. You can come in and select the one that you prefer, but I'm going to leave it at default, which is available on most devices. And then leave this one as it is. After that, simply come in and come and click on finish. So after clicking on finish, it is going to build your empty views activity app for you. Okay, so you can click on it. And as you can see, this is the progress bar. It is building it. All that you have to do is simply come here, come in and then click on the build and you will see the progress of it. So as you can see, it is sinking. Just allow it to finish. Okay, so as you can see from here, it has successfully done it and then you will see that from here to it says finish now that we have successfully created it you can see the android folder from here okay so now we have successfully built our empty views you have to run it to see that it worked so all that you have to do is simply come and then connect your android phone using a usb cable and then make sure that you allow Dublin, okay, and come and click on run. So allow USB Dublin so that it can show up on your PC. Okay, so after that, after connecting it just like mine, after connecting your Android phone, all that you have to do is simply come in and then come in and then click on the run. So when you click on the run with your USB cable connected with Dublin allowed, it is going to build and then launch on your phone okay so as you can see it is launching the app on my phone and it is going to display hello world on your phone so when you see it it simply means that your empty views activity has been built successfully and you can simply come and then click on the stop to stop it so after clicking on the stop to stop it now we have successfully built it okay come here to where you have the menu and then from the menu, simply come here to all the options and come and then click on save all so that you will not lose your project. Okay. So after saving it, so as you can see, it's saving. After saving it, the next important thing is that you have to come and then close it and go and then create an app icon. Okay. So simply come here and then come and click on exit because you need an app icon. Gemini will not be able to create it in Android Studio. So simply go to Google and then come and type Google Air studio and hit enter that is where we are going to create our app icon come and select google AI studio so it will bring you right here to google AI studio platform you see all these options simply come here to the playground and come and click on it so when you click on the playground you can simply come directly here to where we have the images and come and select it or you can simply come here to the models and come and click on it and from here you see that we also have the images right here you can come and click on the image and after clicking on it you have to come in and select nano banana okay so it is completely free okay by clicking on it it will be selected and then this is what you are going to use to build your 
app icon so after selecting it over here simply come and then paste in the prompt to create your app icon you can simply say please create an app icon of your app just like mine and then you simply come and then come and click on the submit or send and that is it nano banana is going to generate the image so as you can see we have it generated and you can come and then click on the download to download it okay so after clicking on the download simply click on close and now we have our image downloaded the next thing is that we have to set the size wall so that it will fit so to do that you have to go to canva so from google come and then type in canva and then hit enter and come and select the official site of canva okay it's going to bring it right here and then you can come and then resize it so to select the option to resize you see that we have all these options simply come here to where we have custom size and come and click on it and over here the width come and then type 10 24 okay that is the perfect one and then the height to come and type 10 24 so this is the perfect height for an app icon and then over here come and then make sure that it is pixels okay and then simply come and then click on new design so after clicking on it it is simply going to create the dimensions for you simply come here and then come and then upload your image by clicking on the upload so when you click on the upload now the next thing that you have to do is to simply come and then click on upload fast so when you click on it you can simply come and select the image that we just created with nano banana and you can come and click on open so so it is going to load right inside canva as you can see it's uploading okay so when it is done uploading all that you have to do is simply come and then click on it okay so when you click on it, it's going to come just like this and then you can simply resize it okay so to resize it, just drag the edges okay so when you drag the edges you'll be able to resize it so resize it to fit it and then simply come and click on the share that is where we are going to download it okay and then come and then click on the download so when you click on the download over here you have the option to come and then select the type pick png and then make sure that it is 1024 by 1024 okay and then simply come and then click on the download so it is going to download and as you can see from here we have successfully downloaded it now that we have our app icon this is it okay simply come and then rename it okay right click on it and you come here to the rename and then click on it and come and rename it just like your app name okay now that we have our app icon let's go back to android studio okay and then from android studio we have to come and then add our app icon image so make sure that you are within the android view okay and then from the app section let me click on it for you to see when you click on it, it's going to collapse and then when you click on it, it's going to open and then within the app you see that we have the rest over here okay so come and then right click on the rest and come here to where we have the new come and then put the mouse on the new so after putting the mouse on the new you see that we have image assets right here come and then click on the image asset okay so after clicking on the image asset it's going to open the configure just like this okay so from here the app icon type leave it at its is the name leave it at its is don't change anything okay and then the over here come here to where we have the foreground layer and the it leave everything as it is okay and over here where we have the asset type come in and make sure that image is checked and from the part over here where we have the part come and then click on this okay so when you click on this it is going to open for you to select your image okay so come and then choose where you have saved the image and simply come and click on it so when you click on it the next thing to do is to simply come and then click on open so when you click on open it's going to load your image and come to the background layer okay so from the background layer the layer name leave it as it is and over here the source asset come and select color by clicking on it and then the color over here you have to come and then click on it okay so when you click on it you'll be able to customize it and come and pick either white or black so when you drag it to the edge just like this okay the corner it is going to show black color so after selecting the black color as you can see 
I have selected the black color. You can simply come and then click on the next, okay? And over here, just leave everything as it is. Don't change anything. And simply come here and come and click on the finish. So when you click on the finish, it is simply going to insert the new image for you. So as you can see from the rest, when you come here to where we have the drawable and come and click on it, you see that we have our app icon generated for us. Now we will be able to build our app by simply using Gemini. Okay, so you have to come ahead and activate it. So from the bottom right corner, simply come ahead and make sure that you click on Gemini and come and make sure that enable AI code completion is selected. If you don't have it selected, just select it and then enable Gemini using your Gmail address. And then from there, simply come here to where we have the chat and then come and click on the chat. So when you click on the chat, Gemini is going to open and make sure that you select the agent, okay, not the chat. It is very important. Select the agent. And from the chat box, simply come and then put in your prompt to build your app. So you can say, please create. I have created an empty views activity for my app. And I want you to continue to build it for me. I already have my app icon added. And then just give a detailed prompt about what you want your app to be like, okay? And simply come and then click on the submit. That is all you need to do. Gemini is going to build everything. Sometimes it's going to ask you to accept it, okay? So you can simply come and then select the auto accept. But I simply want to always click on accept to know the progress of what Gemini is doing, okay? So it depends on you. And then make sure that you always click on accept. So as you can see, Gemini has successfully created the app for us with the code and everything, and it should work. So as I said, mine is a scientific calculator, and I can say thank you, and I can ask it to build it for me. So you can simply say thank you. I want you to build my APK for me now, and then come and click on the submit. And then Gemini is going to build the APK for you without you doing anything. It's going to sync it and build it right inside Android Studio. So when you come and click on the build, you see that from the build output, Gemini is building the APK for us. Okay. So after giving it some time, you see that this message will pop up showing a success. So when you come and click on scroll to the button, you see that Gemini has successfully built our APK for us and the location is given as well. So beside Gemini building it for you, you can also do it manually. But to do it manually, you have to test your app to see that it's working by connecting your phone to it using the cable and come and click on the run. Okay, so when you click on the run, it is going to launch on your phone. So as you can see, it is launching. Let me click on the progress bar for you to see. And it is launching right on my Android phone. Since I have connected my cable, and as you can see, my app is working perfectly fine. You can test it to see. Okay, so now that it is working perfectly fine, we can come and click on the stop, and then we can build our APK manually. So to do that, simply come here and then come and click on the menu. And after clicking on the, on the menu, all these options will come. Come and then click on the build. And from the build options over here, simply come straight to where we have generate APK bundles. And then come and click on generate APKs. So that is it. It is going to build it for you. So as you can see, we have successfully built our APK. And you can simply find it from the notification icon. When you click on the notification, you see that we have the message right here. So to get the location, all that you have to do is simply come and then put the mouse on the locate. Okay. When you put the mouse on the locate, you can come and click on it. And then it's going to pop up the exact location where you have your APK stored. So as you can see, this is the APK. You can come and right click on it and you can send it right onto your phone to install it to see that it's working perfectly fine. Now let's come and then click on the notification so that we can simply come and save it by clicking on the menu. And from all the options, simply come and click on save all. And now you can simply come and then click on the close and we can exit it by clicking on the exit. Now, all that you have to do is simply go to our phone and then where we just copied it to. So from file manager, 
and then you come here to all files and you come here to internal storage when i scroll down you are going to see that i have my apk right here i can tap on it and it's going to ask me to install the package i'm going to tap on just once and i'm going to install it okay so since i've already installed i'm simply going to click on install again for you to see that it's working perfectly fine so it is first time up and play protest is going to ask you to scan it so come and type on install without scanning and then after installing it you can come and tap on open and as you can see my app is working perfectly fine so this is how to create your own app android app right inside android studio without coding like the video and then see you in my next video